Hello and welcome to the Ubuntu Geese tutorial. I'm Yugi Kwon and today we're going to take a look at the Team Fortress 2. Um, I got a request to do an installation on this game, so I'm gonna do it. Uh, first we're gonna check out the game, so let's check it out here. Uh, I just choose class and start the play. This one now. Uh, disconnect and quit. So yeah, and the installation is really simple. You don't have to do much here. Um, so yeah, let's go through it. Uh, like this. Take out some background here. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. And and if you want this background, just check out my video to install an animated background. So yeah, it moves here and stuff. That other as well. But let's get started. Um, I'm using Play on Linux to do this. It's really simple to use Play on Linux on a lot of the games. So I suggest you um, using that. Uh, this is Dreamers here and some other stuff. So yeah, go Play on Linux. And then let's go to the website and click to download here and download the game. And it's gonna come in a Debian file, so you have to double click and install on most of the distros. So, yeah, and when you have Play on Linux installed, it's just to go and click install here. And we're gonna go for the Team Fortress. And you click Team Fortress and then click install. You click next here. And it's gonna start installing this. And you're gonna choose the Steam Store version here. And uh, I've already had it installed, so it doesn't gonna do anything. So I'm gonna close this one down. The thing happens, the Steam loads up and you just download it with Steam if you have it on Steam, but I suggest you on doing using it with Steam because it's free, so just install it through that and the rest is done, you just have to play the game. So it's really simple, you don't have to do anything if you want. And if you wanna do the... Um, I don't have full screen on mine, you can change that. I can go through it rather fast here. Just go to the configuration here, click the Team Fortress, configure Wine. Wine will pop up and you go to graphics and em emulate a virtual desktop. And just change it to whatever you want. Or you can run it in full screen, it works better in full screen. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how you do it. It's really simple. Uh, this will be a quick tutorial. So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> 